hey this is a trick you can do with mushroom <clears throat> you can uh, trick it into thinking uh, it's actually going in a circle when in fact it's not you like mount a camera and you turn like a turntable uh, and like the footage you'll import in a blender and like it say it's a 24 50 2452 frames you'll like tell it to export like every 50th or every 100th frame like every 100th frame would give you like 24 images so you'll just render it uh, like this and you'll import those images in the mesh room now this guy didn't do too good but this finger did finger finger came out pretty good which I've, I've sent in 52 pictures and it just sucks I couldn't get the bottom of it but yeah it tricked it alright it thought it was uh, going in a circle there And of course, from here it's an OBJ. You just import it into Max or in the Blender. It has a little pain in the butt to try to get that under there fixed. So, alright. And this was the other one that I rendered. A little car, old Matchbox car. Not rendered, but I mean, I let Meshroom make the model. That was 40 pictures. All I did, I just like recorded the video at like uh, 1080. No, I recorded it at 120 FPS on the iPhone. The more frames per second, the less blur you're going to have. So you got a little more leeway. Uh, but you could just move it just a little each time and take a still photo. That would even that'd be even more resolution. And this didn't turn out good because it's got some reflective properties. Yeah, it like didn't turn out well at all. But yeah, this is something you can do with it. My people don't know. It don't know. All it does is it looks at what it sees and it figures out, you know, where you're standing. But if it don't know what the background is, and hell, the foreground is turning, well, it's going to think it's going around in a circle. So, yeah. That, that was, uh... And once again, you can see that's how you set it up. I've seen someone take white, like a white sheet, and hang behind, like a turntable. Just as long as it doesn't pick up enough detail that it like determines, hey, there's something back there. Because then it, then it'll know it's not going in a circle if it keeps seeing that spot. But this worked pretty good here. <laughs> 